today is how my brew kale are getting on. Now brew kale are a cross between kale and Brussels sprouts. They have various different names, flower sprouts, kaleettes, but the ones I've got, they're, they're all exactly the same. But the ones that I grew were actually called brew kale. Now they're part of the brassica family and I sowed mine in spring last year and they grew absolutely fabulously in the greenhouse and then when it was time and I'd filled this bed up with the, the soil then I moved them in to the bed and they've been growing very very well since. Now it's January now and I am still harvesting them. I've been harvesting them for quite a while. We had some on Christmas Day and I just keep picking them and we keep using them. You need to cook them in exactly the same way as you would Brussels sprouts but they only, if you're boiling them, you only need to boil them for a couple of minutes and that's enough. In fact you could even just saute them in a little bit of oil and butter and maybe with some onions and then you just saute them for about five minutes. But as you can see here they are behind me and they are slowly finishing which is why some of their leaves have started to turn yellow when that happens you'll find this will happen with your brussels sprouts as well please don't worry about it it's just what happens now they have fallen over ever so slightly all of them have in fact some of them there's one over there which is really tall it must be about over a meter tall the plant itself so I'm just going to show you the flower sprouts in just a little bit more detail and how easy it is to harvest them. So if we just look at this plant here and I'll just take these leaves off just then you can see a little bit better. I'll start, I started harvesting them from the bottom of the plant and I'm gradually working my way up. So we don't want that one. So hopefully you can see that they basically look like little green flowers and they grow all the way up the plant until you get to the very, very top. Now to harvest these is very, very easy. All you need to do is to grab hold of one of the flower sprouts and just pull it down quite firmly. And it will just come off just like that. So we just get hold of it. You, can, you don't have to pull it down, you can pull it to the side if that's easier for you. And they just rip off exactly the same as you would pull off your Brussels sprouts. So there they are, they're my little flower sprouts, my little brew kale. And they are so tasty and so delicious. Now the best thing about these is first of all they're easy to harvest, they're easy to grow. You just have to be aware of butterflies so if when you're growing them if you can cover them with a very fine net or uh, a net curtain is really really good because it's very very fine and the butterflies can't get in there and lay their eggs. If you do find that that's a problem you can always go along and pick off the caterpillars or just let the birds pick them off. They'll pick them off quite quickly. You also have to be aware of getting white fly on them but just you you can if you keep them covered with very fine netting then that tends not to be a problem but you will find at this time of year that you won't have any problems with anything nibbling them and you'll just work your way up and just harvest them and when you've stripped the stem then the best thing it's like with brussels the best thing is the top bits because you get your brussel tops and you get some tiny tiny little brussels in there which are just so nice and here you've got the lovely green leaves and they are just full of so many vitamins and minerals and they are so tasty just chop them up quite roughly and just saute them like you would or like I do with cabbage well if you haven't grown 
blue kale before, flower sprouts or kalets, then please give them a go. You will not be disappointed. They are very easy to grow. These will most probably keep us going until I would reckon the end of January. I I'll expect I'll then be harvesting the last of them then. But they are really nice and people go, oh, what are these? And then you can introduce them to a new vegetable. Well, I hope you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon. And I will definitely be growing more of these this year.